Got what I need. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption video. In this case, I will be dealing with hunting and crafting, like I did with Black Flag. Well, Red Dead Redemption has an even more complex hunting and crafting setup, and hunting is a little more, um, how shall I say, difficult. But it is what it is, and it is actually kind of fun and makes the game very, very realistic. So let's get into doing some hunting and crafting. While riding toward my destination, I came upon this lodge here. And one of the things that is important to hunting and crafting, or actually crafting, is a fire. And not this fire, though you can sit in the lodge and chill out and relax. The most important fire is a campfire. And you've got to kind of walk around and. Ah, oh boy. Now, this is the campfire here. And what you do is you sit down and you craft or cook. And when you're crafting or cooking, you can cook provisions if you have a recipe like some wild mint or something like that, you can cook better food. And once the food is cooked, you do not have to consume it. You can cook it and put it away for later, and it won't lose anything. It's, from what I understand, not permanent, but you have a good source of food to raise your health. And right now I'm cooking various food from game I had hunted and captured and it's going to be stowed away for later use when I need the health. Also, if you have tonics or some other things, you can use those to cook and craft your food. While out hunting, you might come upon strangers in need. Uh, you can be a bad guy or you can help them out. This guy was a trapper and I decided to help him out. Use a hand. Oh, please. Please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Oh, please save me. Keep pulling. I can feel it getting looser. Oh, Oh God! Oh, oh, you did it! Oh, oh, oh. I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something. Oh, oh, Mister, you, I thought I was gonna be. Oh God! Oh, I thought I was gonna be a goner. Oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. 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 Now, helping out a stranger, uh, if they don't have ill intent, and I've run into those, can benefit you in the future. I did help a guy out who was bitten by a rattlesnake, and later on when I was in Valentine, he bought me a gun, a better gun. Well, again, these are going to be random encounters while you're out hunting, and they can be interesting or scary, depending on which way things go. Also, you can gather herbs while you are out hunting, and those help you with cooking and crafting. While chasing down some elk and trying to get them with a bow and arrow, I did manage to get one, but he was on the opposite end of the lake or the river, and I decided I'm going to try and swim 
oh, there is no swimming in Red Dead Redemption. You wind up uh, drowning. And I should have just ran or rode all the way to the opposite end and skinned the elk. But like I said, there is no swimming. Or maybe the horse swims. I don't know. But I decided to take a shortcut and swim. And this is what happened. With that mistake, I realized, uh, yeah, stamina, you need to set up camp. So part of going out and hunting is setting up a campfire. And it's real difficult here in Red Dead. You got to flip here and then click here and do this and click that and release. And now you set up a campfire where you can cook and craft. And again, cooking, you just cook your food. Crafting, you can make uh, stronger snake oil and herb things, and you can do other things like um, birds and animals and stuff like that. Again, making bullets, I made a potent snake oil with some Indian tobacco, and then I started crafting bullets. And yes, you can make your bullets more deadly by cutting into them. And yeah, I mean, you get some sleep, you move forward, and pistol cartridges, you can make explosive, you can make various other things by simply using metal or whatever else you have, animal fat, very interesting stuff. Again, it's just one of those things that they probably let you discover on your own. Like I did, I just made a whole bunch of different types of weapon or ammunition, arrows, improved them, small game arrows, a lot of different things you can improve. After breaking camp, we did have some good luck hunting. And it was some Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep. And that would give a nice pelt with an arrow. Uh, you use, um, how should I say, bullets. The pelt is damaged more and you don't get as much money for it. But hey, money's money. Not only do you get a nice pelt, I believe this one is going to be classified as. Ah, dead eye, uh, meat, whatever, big horn, poor, yeah, poor animal hide. That's not good. But it is what it is. And you get a big horn sheep pelt. Some of these things are good for building different outfits, sort of like uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now, let's move on to further adventure and further hunting. While out hunting, I came upon this guy who was obviously a trapper and fur trader. They have something to do with this game, but he hasn't been unlock unlocked yet, but he is kind of crazy and interesting. I don't take usually kindly to company, but you can stay. Been doing some hunting, I see. Rare game's more my thing these days. Any fool can take down a deer or a rabbit, even a bear. I once killed 30 bears in one year. And buffalo? <laughs> I can't even count that high. 
Yep, God's honest truth. Folk near Sand. He tells stories of a panther that roams the swamps out there. Fast, ferocious, real elusive. Bit of a legend in those parts. Never been caught, and I figured... If anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be me. And a pelt like that whew, could keep a feller warm in whiskey for months. But that's a story for another day. Hold on now, I, I swear I seen your face before. This is where it got a little scary. It could have been a fight, but it turned out to be nothing. Go oh, darn it, no. Can't get through nothing without some damn ruckus. Bye now. Okay, well, the guy goes riding off and leaves his camp, and you, the odd part is you can't steal anything. Okay. I tried. So, off back to the main city, Valentine, and maybe the camp of where the outlaws are. And as I'm riding along, my horse gets spooked by a bear, which, yeah, it, it, it kind of starts to be interesting. I mean, your horse gets spooked, and I'm trying to look for animals to hunt. And they go running off into the woods. So I'm going to get to where the horse gets spooked. Take it easy. The one animal on the ridge was not the one that spooked the horse, it was this black bear. And, well, you can use usually use the radar to show the location, a red dot, where potential danger is. Now, I shot the bear three times, which damaged the hide pretty badly, but I'm going to skin it and bring it back and make a little bit of money on it. One of the things I'll say about Red Dead Redemption is very detailed. And that's kind of why I'm going to keep playing it. But like I said in the previous video, I'm going to probably switch between this game and another game. More than likely Skyrim because I don't want to move on to another Assassin's Creed yet. So yeah, I'll be alternating Skyrim and Red Dead videos. One of the major problems I do have with Red Dead is its pacing. 
I mean, it's a vast world and very hard to fast travel. I've done the where you do the cinema view and you let the horse automatically run. Still, it takes a long time for um, the main character to get from point to point. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video and found it informative, please hit the like button. Please leave comments. I thank all my viewers and the people who viewed this video. I'm hoping to get 100 subscribers by the end of this year. And if you like this type of video, I post four video game related videos a week. And if you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be informed when those videos are released. And you will not miss out. Again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by. Give me the damn key. He just saved Master! Help! Yeah. Hey, shut up.